Come on, Pled. Mm. I had a feeling that would happen. Damn it. There's always got to be a complication. It's never that easy. This is a different steak. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> no, you absolutely cannot trust what we say. Wait a minute. It kind of reminds me of, um, I don't know if you've ever read the very first installment in the Narnia series, The Magician's Nephew, in terms of chronologically. So it actually comes first. It's a prequel. Oh, I Lion did read I read that, um, but uh, so long ago, I was really young. I don't remember any of it. Yeah, it just reminds me of um, uh, the the uncle in that story uh, when he meets the evil queen from Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. He's just so struck by her beauty. He thinks she's the bee's knees and when she starts getting really violent, he's like, oh, oh, yes, exactly, whatever you say. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, it's not exactly yeah, like that. Yeah, that's, that's, my recollection. that's pretty, pretty much what this guy's doing right now. Was removed from the victim's table after the incident. Okay, I don't know if we're jumping the gun here, but maybe we should do a 3D examine. Sounds good. Yeah. So that's the play just flicked upside down. Okay, um, there's nothing on the bottom. Oh. What? Oh, it's the Coban. Which means she swapped the plates while he was looking under the table, maybe? Yep, every but detail. The, but then how would the military guy not have noticed that? Uh, also, this is a this is a this is a good pun. <laughs> oh, that's pretty great. It's pretty great. Well, Pearls before swine is a Bible reference, by the way. Yeah, and yeah. also uh, Spoink from Pokemon is a reference to that. It's a, a literal pig with pearls. Ah, oh, that makes so much sense now. I never realized that. Yep. But ah, uh, interesting. Okay. And yeah, speaking of Pokemon, yeah, this is now you know this is what Meowth's coin is. Hey, that makes sense stuff, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so marinated. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a promotion. Win like one of these steaks. Oh, it's it's the it's one in six wins but for steak. <laughs> no. Okay, other people won't get that, but there was an ice, like an ice, uh, like an ice block or icy pole thing uh, here, like when we were kids. That was it was actually in... Mars bar. Oh, it was, it was Mars, Mars bar. bar. Okay. Yep, yep. And I may or may not have been somewhat obsessed with that to the detriment of my one health six and wins. my sanity. <laughs> Basically, one in six, and you get a free bar. I think I just felt like the odds, though. Normally, I didn't. Um, I was very skeptical about marketing. I thought, oh no, surely not. But I just happened to win a lot. I don't know if I was just incredibly lucky or if they. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, they, they probably set up the odds so that, you know, they make money statistically. Yeah, yeah. The cost of the free bars is less than the number that people would win. It's a cow, obviously.
So yeah, we've got the coin, we've got the stake. Is there anything else we can examine? So the only thing I'm thinking of is if she swapped the um, uh, antique dealer's stake with Dr. Wilson's stake. Yeah, but again, that would be while he was looking under the table. Okay, we've already seen this. But then again, how would the military dude not have noticed? Because I can't remember what he said he was doing at the time. Yeah, we've done that already. <laughs> Jump yeah, the yeah, gun a little bit. Yes, yeah, not problematic other than the fact that it contains a priceless historical artifact. <laughs> Yes, it can. Yes, it can. The steak is a lie. <laughs> That's, I, I think you made that one before. I, I, I did. I did. But I mean, it literally is, because it seems like it's the wrong steak. Exactly. So you go, oh, you shouldn't make the same mistake twice and leave more evidence out in the open. Hmm, I could eat this rancid beefsteak right now. <laughs> and then probably get food poisoning. <laughs> I mean, of all the people, you know, you want to see food poisoning happen to. Okay, yeah, so... Yes, it would be yeah, underneath... Okay. The beef steak. Oh yeah, so we uh, Have we seen this conversation already? We have, yeah. Yeah. I can't even skip this either, so maybe you're only supposed to see it now. That is so great. Well, we get Love to it. see the pun Love twice. It. Such a good pun. Yes, this means that... Good job, localizers. Oh, new, um... New, uh, new shout. So if we were to call that guy back in and ask, is this specifically the coin that you lost earlier? <laughs> yes, the chef. Oh yes, yes, just just casually throw a historic priceless coin. <laughs> and be the stake. Yep. Standard practice. <laughs> oh man, this is just the feeling that like you get really psyched when you know you're just getting on the cusp mm. of a really big revelation. <laughs> well, I mean, you didn't have uh, that yeah, you, in the first you place. Exactly. That would have you. Anyway. Well, with the defendant, so... <laughs> Technically, they uh, did. I love how Ouchie's taunts kind of get progressively more and more kind of schoolyard based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think that was true of Winston as well, but. You didn't even go here! <laughs> <laughs> uh, mean Girls reference for. People oh, yeah, I, I caught that on TV recently, but I didn't see the beginning. I, when I first saw it, I, uh, it actually made me really sad afterwards because I was so struck mm. by how mean they were. 
Yeah. It's had a huge resurgence recently. Like, it's become a huge meme online. Mm, it is. And, it's a very common film. And seeing it again, like, it's the, <laughs> the writing's actually, like, actually really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's very clever. Curio okay. Correcta san That's a great, it's such a great name choice. Mr. Yo, know, it's obviously a completely different Hoei era Korban. <laughs> I mean, true, that is a bit weird. Mm. Oh, hold on. Oh, what if it's the military dude's stake and he stole the coin and slipped it under his stake, and so it's the military guy's stake and not the victim? And there's a bit of confusion with the stakes. Mm. That would make the most sense, because I think earlier on, the antique dealer gave the military guy a bit of a suspicious look when he was talking about the lost coin. Maybe because he's got a baby and he's, you know, he's got a growing family and he doesn't get paid enough. And that's that's my, uh, my gut feeling. And yeah. so, oh, and he's sweating. And so, four-person testimony. Hey. Yeah, didn't think they'd bring back these two again, did you? Oh. <laughs> oh, what's that? Are you going to get your coin back? Not that your software should be tied to monetary goods. There we go. Did that just go in the sergeant's boot? <laughs> I must say, when I was in earnest about these witnesses is very bad with their food waste. All of them left like two thirds of their steak on the plate. <laughs> Especially since it's an expensive restaurant. I mean, come on guys, finish your food. Put on a takeaway bag if you can't at all. Just, just don't waste it.
Yep, mm -hmm. I think we figured it out. I mean, considering how nervous he is right now on the stand. My door is secretly a legendary master criminal. Throwing he is... your baby under the bus. Yeah. Good, good parenting right there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Exactly as Reno scares I mean, say. Unless the baby is a kleptomaniac. In terms of like being a baby and being like, ooh, shiny thing, and then taking it. Because, <laughs> you know, that would, that would be a fair point. I remember, you know, holding friends' babies and I used to wear a, a gold necklace and they'd go straight for the necklace. So not even the culprit, and we're already getting a breakdown animation. Wow, that was very cool. Pushing a baby's head down like that is not very cool. Oh, I was right. Struggling father. Doesn't condone stealing though, but that's, that's understandable. <laughs> Phantom Thief. Uh, <laughs> not strictly a Persona 5 reference, but given the kind of people who localize these, it might be. The question remains though, then why was his steak found at the victim's table? if the plates were switched somehow. Oh, 
cool. Wait a minute. Is the, the, is the knife and fork, is that going to be important? Oh, oh. Maybe. No, no. Hold it. Yeah, there you go, you're right. Yeah, because I think the knife and fork are dirty in one of the photos, but not in the other. I wonder if this is going to be the final present. Mm. And ironically, it's her haughtiness and condescension dissension that would bring her down. Mm. Up. Yeah, and I noticed this very, very early into the case too, but mm, didn't realize yeah, it would be important. Okay, so if we look at this, the knife and fork here, yeah, they're clean, but I believe it would be, I think, the other photo? Because yeah, the knife and fork are clearly there dirty you go. here. Nice. So yeah, that is that one, I think. <laughs> Yeah, I think somebody switched the stakes. Classic stakes switch. <laughs> Steak switcheroo. Yeah, it looks like it's been bitten into, not cut. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's clearly bite marks. <laughs> yes, this will be over in the blink of an eye.
and now I'm craving steak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even eat steak, but um, yeah, I know. This kind of does. I, make um, me. I don't usually um, either, but. Yeah, because we can't actually, like, the chair is conveniently obscuring that side of the stake. Mm. This is like one of those moments, I've, I've seen it said that there are three possible reasons to explain a contradiction. One, there's something wrong with the evidence. Two, there's something wrong with the witness's statements. And three, is that both are correct, but the basic facts of the case that everyone assumed were true are wrong. Right, interesting. Like something that everyone took for granted. Like, Maybe there was. is a Sherlock Holmes story where, from memory, unless I'm remembering wrong, but from memory, the killer is actually an animal. And so the base assumption is that the killer was a human. Mm. And then, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to have to try and find out where that other plate is. <laughs> I don't believe you! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that other steak from awesome policeman guy. Who possesses this? Um, policeman hmm. slash waiter. Um, Is it him? Yeah, I think so. Because I think he said earlier that he took the steak. Yeah, he said from the both sergeant tables. steak and yeah. the gentleman um, to be thorough. Yeah. was the wrong steak. Oh, 
That does make sense. So he framed a dead body for the theft. There you go. Cause I, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Because I thought she would have switched them, but I suppose she wouldn't have had opportunity without it being obvious. I'm making a lot of pop culture references, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Theft, tampering with the crime scene, yeah, that's pretty much all. The other stick, if you please. Yeah, I noticed the specific wording back then. Ooh, she's pulling at her mask. Alright, I've never in my life been more excited to see a bloodstain. <laughs> <laughs> And this is the first time the Pursuit theme is playing. Nice. I love this game's Pursuit theme. It's reserved for really major moments like this. Yeah, they did mention that he's confident in his his powers of observation. Yeah. Just kind of something that some of the other lawyers in the series don't really have. Because I was the most similar I was thinking of is um, Apollo Justice's sort of perception yeah. power in terms of mm. uh, people in there and their mannerisms, but yeah, in terms of observation of an environment. Um, yeah, and it does seem very Holmesian as well. Mm. The bullet didn't pass through. I'm wondering if you have to present that, like if she's gonna argue, oh, but what if it went through the body? Um, we'll see.
So how do you rate that breakdown? That was pretty great. That was that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Little outburst. <laughs> yes, yes, just sent uh Baby birds flying over the courtroom. That was great. Come on, lady, are you gonna confess? There you go. Well, I mean, in the original stories, Watson was a former army member. Mm. Of course, yes, of course she's hiding something under the skirt. Yep, all the ruffles. Yeah, I knew I knew that it was significant that he'd been turned around. It turns out about like the knife and fork being dirty, that was like right for the wrong reasons. I had yeah. the right I had the right evidence, but it wasn't for the reasons I thought. I feel like that often happens in Phoenix. It right? does like, often I was happen. Thinking yeah. He was sitting in her place because the steak was there, but I, I'd forgotten that she wanted to make it look like he was dining alone. So anyway, sometimes you kind of think of things that are yeah actually are relevant, but mm. just not in the way that you expect. But we are forgetting one thing, though, motive. That's what I'm, I'm wondering if that's gonna, if you're gonna find that out yet, or if that's gonna be something for later. Hmm. Oh, she's like the polite honorific. Maybe she's reforming? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's a worthy opponent kind of thing, maybe. 
respect for the one who actually took her down. Yeah. managed to take her down. I wonder what she wants to talk to him about then. And you're right, we still don't know motive. <laughs> no, the prosecution is very much not in agreement. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with this. I don't accept this. <laughs> uh, he was alright. Passed down through all the generations. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> well, wow. yeah, he was kind of right about that. Yeah. Isn't like a summarized top knot? Like yes, a... yes, that's yeah, what I was going to mention. Yeah, so this is something that might be, yeah, that you kind of need to know a bit of the cultural context to get, but the mm. summarized top knot was really, really important, so getting it yeah. cut like that is a huge, like, a huge insult. Mm. Excellent! I'd say that was more than excellent. <laughs> we unraveled a police cover-up, exposed the real <laughs> killer, found out about a poison that you never knew about before. Caught a master thief. Yep, yep, caught, sol solved some thefts, yep, got a priceless antique back. <laughs> I'd say that was a pretty good first outing. And also, yes, wider world besides um, uh, Portuguese and Dutch, I think, but only in Nagasaki. Mm. Yes, this mysterious science. But surely, I mean, I don't know, I haven't studied Japanese history or culture, but uh, I think every culture has some semblance of the scientific method. Yeah, yeah no, they do. Yeah. The, yeah. But, like, just as far as, like, techniques, as far as investigation goes. Yeah. We're actually going because uh, we didn't lose the trial. The mission, huh? Mm. Ooh. He's a spy. <laughs> Is he gonna say it? Is he gonna say it? Yes, I believe a change of career may be in order. In this series, I guess no two words are more satisfying. <laughs> Hooray! Take that, Bailiff! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we weren't we weren't a criminal after all. How do you feel about that? Drunk with power yeah. bailiffs? <laughs> And victory music! It's very similar to the victory theme in the first game, but it's just, you know, given a more period sounding orchestration. Mm. 
mag. <laughs> oh yes, I was talking about that, the sukiyaki. Uh, Mikotofa? No, it's... Yes. Oh, actually, yes, Mikotofa, but not the one I was expecting. <laughs> Did you turn the trail around? Why do I get the feeling that Kazuma kind of planned this all along? Well, I mean, he was a colleague of the victim. I think the name Susato was mostly chosen because of the kan- like, because that they liked the kanji that made up- made it up. Oh, do you know what the meaning? But I'll need I'll need to look yeah. into that a little bit more because it, it off the top of my head I can't quite remember. Oh man, I was slightly suspicious of him at the beginning. <laughs> but it turns out his name meaning friend was actually, as far as we know, accurate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good ah. friend. I mean, perhaps it was um, long enough ago that uh, Wilson was still running cases with a certain somebody, maybe. It's so cool. Just might not get through customs. Didn't we yeah. try and bring back a wooden when we went when we went to Japan? Didn't we try and bring back a wooden sword replica? Uh, I, I know maybe someone. It might have been one of my classmates who did that. Yeah, because it was like a school, a Japanese school trip. So yeah, Australian customs for all the viewers uh, is notoriously a bit yes, uh, yes. tough. <laughs> yes, absolutely <laughs> serious business to make sure that no like diseases or anything like that gets in. So wood is a pretty, pretty, pr pretty bad. What's happened to the woman? I know that's why I kept pushing the iron out to sink. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was going to be the judge. Mm. Maybe this is the word that she wanted to have with the with the judge before.
Well, yes, I suppose this could be our inciting incident. Maybe this is a serious political incident. Yeah, she's a student, but we don't exactly know what her background was. Yeah, not in Japan, at least. The game is afoot. That sort of explains why she was so calm when she was I confessing. I wondered that, yeah. Wonder if she has connections or something back in Britain. Again, let's just not mention how screwed up the Ace Attorney legal system is in a hundred years. <laughs> and happy music again. Please not carbonated uh. water. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing served in wine bottles or glasses. Yep, yep. Maybe some steak. Or some sukiyaki. And this guy was cool. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's a mistake. I guess he's, he still has his cover story. Uh, you're a detective. We still don't know <laughs> about why he's, you know, coughing and bleeding. No, I mean, it is a classic sign of tuberculosis, but, um... Yeah, that's definitely possible. Yeah, it should be very sad. Ah yes, paperwork. <laughs> Always uh, that part that you stuff. don't get on screen. I don't know, I have a feeling. Mm, the we'll moment you say later. something like that... <laughs> Yeah, he handled the first, like, objection, but mm. most of the rest of it was all us. Oh, he's so humble. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, trust. Trust in your client. <laughs>
And we're interrupted, of course. Yeah, rickshaw is actually a Japanese word, by the way. Oh, really? Or at I least it's a, it's it's a, it, it comes from jin rickshaw, which is man-powered vehicle. Cool. It's sort I of like that. a bit of a corruption of, of like the word. Mm. Oh yes, that very important question. No, let's just put that aside for now. <laughs> put a pin in that. Let's put a pin in it for later. Not like it's going to be important or anything. And let me guess, is this going to be closing monologue? And so. <laughs> Bestie. Cool dude. Awesome lady. Even more awesome guy. Even more awesome justice guy. <laughs> hey! <laughs> he played he a really big part. Yeah. You know, the state cracked the case. And that's what we're ending on, isn't it? I, I can tell that's gonna be- YES! That's what we're ending on! To be continued! They always do that, they always do, little did I know, that! <laughs> dot, dot, <laughs> dot, 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 dot. So, yes, that is the end of case one. Well, yeah, that, that last end, that went quite on for quite a while, but, um... But yeah, that was, that was like, I do feel like it was a little bit long, like, in the middle. Like, in maybe Brett's first testimony, maybe was a little bit long. But... The end was really strong. Yeah, yeah, I think I think so. It was quite a long first case, but I do also it was, get that yeah. they're setting things up mm, with just mm. the world and the yes. context, and so, yes. so I get that. Mm. Um, and tell the new characters that. Yeah, um, and I and I, used to. I think Brett was a pretty decent first villain as well. Yeah, yeah, me too. And I obviously mm. assume we'll see her again. So. Yes, we might be seeing her again. So, yes, uh, with case one out of the way, next time we will be moving on to the second case, and I think that might be where we find out what the favour is, but I have a pretty in big inkling what the favour might be. I'm guessing it's something along the lines of, please come with me to England. Oh, or, um, please become a lawyer. <laughs> mm. That's, yeah. Or maybe but... it's please adopt all those baby swans. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that too. That that could also be it. So um, yes, um, until next time. This is me signing off. And me signing off too. So yeah, see you all for case two.